In this next video we're going to take a look at how we use the data grid to display our data. Um, I'll just bring up the other example so we can take a look at that. Um, so if we just run this through, uh, what we're looking at making here is the following. So we've got the view products. Uh, when we press this button uh, we should get a grid with the data that we can uh, go ahead and filter or clear filter. So we're going to try and make this next. So let's just get rid of that out of the way for the moment and stop that running and go back over to our other project. So the first thing to do, um, I'm going to open my just my original form, the one that came with the application. I'm just going to put another button on there um, so that I can run my next form. So let's just bring everything back up here. All right, okay. So I'm just going to pop another button on there and we're going to, just in the properties here, I'm just going to change the text to uh, view products and on the on click that's going to open up hopefully a new form so what we'll do next is go to the solution explorer over on the right hand side I'm just going to right click go add and again I know this is off the screen but just choose Windows form and the next one is going to be view products okay so we give it a name check we've got Windows form and press add there Okay, so a few bits again of customization. We're just going to go into the properties. I'm just going to change the text to view products to get the space back in there. Uh, again, you can give that an icon. Um, I'm just going to put my coffee mug icon into there. So nice and straightforward, so nothing new there so far. Next job, I'm just going to make this form a little bit wider here. And I'm going to go and have a look down at the bottom here for the data component. And you can see you've got a data grid view and I'm just going to pop that in there to start off with okay it'll bring up an option here to say choose data source we don't really want to do that just at the moment so I'm just going to close that down and we're just going to leave that there for the time being and we're going to go in and put some code into that so again either right click view code or just press F7 to take you into the code view okay so once we're in here what we're hopefully going to do now is um, just bind our data grid view to our um, coffee shop entity. So again, what I'm going to do just to put the top here. I'm just going to make another private uh, class here, and we're going to call it coffee shop database entities. And again, that's what was created uh, in the first set of tutorials. I'm just going to give that the instance name CSE and new coffee shop database entity. So we've got there an instance of our class coffee sh uh, shop data entities. So that's created. Now we've got the constructor here, so we've got the uh, initialized component, so that will do all the setting up for us. Uh, and what I want to do here is I'm actually going to bind uh, coffee shop entity to the data grid view. All we need to do, get my instance name of my data grid view dot, and we're looking for the data source. So there's a data source, and we're just going to set that to CSE dot, and I want to bind that to the table products. And that will basically get the, the data bound. Now we're going to need to do a little bit of work with this, uh, but in the first instance that will actually give us uh, a data grid view of the data. So let's save that up and let's go back to our original form. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put in uh, a click event here by just clicking uh, and, well, two options really. You can either double click or you could go properties uh, events here and you could put your own sort of name in so that we could say open products and press return and you can see it's the same as double clicking there so what we're going to do this time is we're going to uh, open up the new view products so view products uh, we call that view products again equals new view products again we're just going to make an instance there of our class view products which is our form so of course we just need to show that um, so that we can see it and hopefully we'll just save everything up and might have a couple of bugs but let's just run that and find out okay that seemed to run without bugs so here we go to view products and up opens our data grid and you can see there yep yeah, it's definitely got the correct column headings um, along the top there uh, however, there's no data in there just at the moment, and that's because there isn't any in our database. So if we want to put some data in, I can just close that down. I'll go to Add Product. Let's put some data in. So chips, one pound ninety-nine. 
into the food category, upload, and we can go and find something in there. So there's my chips picture, and we'll just press save. Uh, we've got a little dialogue that says record saved, so OK. Close that down, and let's go and take a look in view products. And sure enough, you can see now that that's been added to the database, and there it is. There are some columns that perhaps I don't want. Um, also, uh, I might want to just change the layout slightly. We'll take a look at how we do that. Uh, you'll notice though that it already comes with the ability to resize straight out the box. So I can change the, the heights and widths and everything like that. So, you know, fairly feature rich just as it is. So we'll stop that running and we'll go back into our uh, view product design. So back here we are. So there's a few things you can do here. Uh, first thing I'm going to look at if I go to view code is uh, we're going to look at actually making some of the columns uh, invisible. So again, what we do is we get the instance data grid view and if you want to specify a column to get rid of we just put columns and we can specify uh, the index. I just made, made a mistake there so let's just put that back. So columns and it'll ask for the index. So what I want to do, I'm going to hide uh, the product type as I'm not interested in that and if you're not sure where I'm getting these names from they match the names in the database I'll go and show you those again in a moment but product type dot visible equals false Oops. there we go and that will basically make that column invisible now I might have spelt it right there we go okay so if you're wondering where I got that from again if I just nip into the server explorer over here again open up the product and you can see here the, uh, basically the entity relationship mapped them across here and product type is referred to there. So I also want to get rid of a couple of other things um, I'm going to get rid of if I just paste that underneath I'm going to get rid of the actual table uh, which in my case is TBL product type, I don't want to see that and I'm also going to get with, rid of TBL and we're going to get rid of the transaction items and because I don't want those columns visible so there we go, put those in again just check that they are all working press the play button, have a look in your view products there we go, and we've got much neater now, we've got product ID, description, price and image um, again might be nice if that filled the box so that when I resize it auto resizes but um, it's quite simple to do that, I'll leave you to have a quick look at that later on. Uh, the only other thing that I might want to do with this is add some sort of filtering. Um, and again, because we've actually bound here to the um, coffee shop entity, what we can do is just really filter it in quite a simple way. And we'll take a look at that in the next video. Uh, I'm just going to tidy up a little bit of the stuff on the form. So we're just going to go into the properties and we can see that we've got various things. Uh, we can auto size the rows, we can auto size the columns. So if I do that, um, let's go all cells and auto size columns to all cells. That's going to make it a little bit bigger, uh, sorry, a little bit better and fit on. Let's just uh, have a look at the result of that. So you can see now when we view the products that hopefully uh, everything's shrunk to fit. Again, we haven't got a product in there at the moment, so we'd need to go and pop one in. Let's just quickly do that. Incidentally, if you're wondering why I'm having to add this each time, uh, the database we're working on here is actually local to the um, to the project when it's in debug mode. Um, so you'll have to add the data. I will show you later on how you can sort of cheat a little bit and, and make it always remember the data. But for this instance, we'll just save that in. Go and take a look. And you can see there, that's much better. The columns have resized to the picture. Um, so everything's fit in quite nicely there. So that concludes how you find your data to the data grid view. In the next video we'll take a look at how we actually filter that data so that the data grid view can change.